Hello, welcome, hi. Welcome everybody to the show. Yeah, I'm David Sponheim, the American original, welcome. I've got my onion. You'll have to excuse the lighting uh, in here. It's a little off, yeah. We've had some adjustment issues with lots of bright light in the summer. Really, really bad, yeah. Saturation's a bit much. Yo, oh, that's almost better. Uh, okay, uh, we're gonna work with this then. Good evening, everybody. Welcome, I've got a, a great little thing for you today. Pork sliders, $4 for eight people. It's a blooming onion, yeah. Organic. Everything I, I try to buy organic whenever possible, and I get these big bags of organic onions. Five ninety nine. Hey, <laughs> like like ten pounds or some ridiculous amount. Okay, we are going to use the snack faster today. Hello, welcome everybody. If you're wondering if I'm watching your chat over at iVlog or DLive, I'm not. I'm going to show you a Snackmaster from 1975. It's pretty amazing. Look at that. Still in original condition. Yeah, this is phenomenal. I think I'll put this over here. Uh, you pop it open, and it has the everything set to make your sliders. And normally sliders are like hot, like white bread, you know, hamburger buns with pork on them. We're going to start the pork section right now. I knew you'd like pork, being many of you are pork sensitive. You may want to try this dish with uh, turkey or chicken. All right, so I realize you're judging me for eating pork and I, you think of me as some sort of a scumbag because I'm eating pork and I think that's too bad. Yeah, I don't judge you for being uh, judgmental of me eating pork, okay? Mm. I'm not castigating you for not wanting to eat pork. I know, I'm not laying a, a trip on you. A lot of you vegans try to lay trips on us meat eaters, yeah. Fart master, do you mind? Hack initiate? You gotta be kidding. You, you must be out of your l hello Anderson Cooper he we've got a, a, a regular major league journalist in here we never went to college to study journalism just went to a CIA internship you really lucked out that didn't you Anderson David no we can't have Tom in here it turns out Tom is Chet Chet you know the guy that's been harassing us Yeah, we don't need these stinking California types to imply that we're not as good as they are if we're eating meat. You eat pork by the pounds, really? Wow, Tom Jones is God. Tom, you're uh, Irish, aren't you? Or no? You're from Wales, right? Okay. Well, yeah, we have confirmation he is Chet. Okay. Welcome, everyone. Yeah, I'm. I'm not sure why I'm not receiving my signal here. I'm submitting my Periscope show, but it's not popping up. Oh, there it is. That was from last week. Hey, we got four people in here. Welcome. Yeah, Timbo. I see you watch our show quite a bit. You guys at Periscope, I, can't, I can never see you chat because I'm shadow banned at Twitter. That's right. You're Welsh. Tom, I really believe that you might very well be the, the original Tom Jones here. And you, Anderson Cooper, I don't know about that. You haven't even made a donation, and you're an American citizen. I don't get it. All right. This thing plugs in. Uh, it's got that stickless surface, so you know you got to spray it down with a little oil. We're going to start with the onion. And the idea is to make a lot of stuff that would be uh, ideal for... You like my low res opportunity here? We're gonna go ahead and cut this down to size. This 
is where your fingernail comes in really handy. We've been over that a few times. So for those of you that bite your fingernails with COVID-19 fears and phobias, I feel for you, I really do. But you gotta, you gotta keep your fingernails, man. They're part of your survival tool. Yeah, I've met people in my life who have no fingernails and, and man, they are the, they're mental, I'll tell you. They're so full of uh, stress, it's unbelievable. Okay. Positioning the, uh, the onions for slicing. I'm gonna turn this heat on to level three. Right here. Now I'm gonna be using a, a can of Sandwich Creations uh, pork in barbecue sauce. I got this for a dollar. All right. And a little can of low sodium V8. One large red onion, excuse me, a red pepper. Thank you. We're talking a dollar for the pepper normally. I got it for 80 cents. Hey, that's, that's not going to work here, buddy. No. That, those scripts never work here. Well, not living out of a can. It's called survival, man. No, I don't think there is. Let me check. Vinegar, brown sugar, modified corn starch. No, modified food starch, not even corn. A molasses, good stuff. Yeah, nothing bad. Modified something. No corn syrup. Yeah. Hey, this can is going to do it. Yeah, we're just going to put this in the snack master. Okay, so get the pan going right over here, and boy, this thing about me pumping up the uh, the the uh, thing is really going viral. Yeah, everybody's taking. They just love this atomizer. It's just it's made a hit across the globe. I've got safflower oil in there. I, we bought a big, huge bulk of safflower oil. Non-GMO. It's really good. Safflower oil, they can't grow it with, with pesticides because the bees will die. So you really don't have to worry. If you get safflower oil, you're, you're in good shape. And it's one of the longest lasting oils. Today we're going to be cooking with a... Uh, cooking pork sliders. We're going to be doing a, 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 a Snackmaster original. We've got the Snackmaster here from 1975. Amazing product. Take a look at this. You can still buy these at thrift stores. Okay. We've got hot oil on the grill. I'm going to cut up the onions. I've got some white bread. This, believe it or not, organic for $2.29. And I got a half a loaf, so it's about a dollar's worth of bread. We got a can of uh, Arbor pork, pork slider, pork barbecue sauce. I paid a dollar for that. It's 80 cents for this and an onion. And I've got a hot grill. I'm going to throw those onions on right now. I'm going to do a basic cut of the onions. There we go. Whoa. That's cooking. Yeah. Welcome to the show, everybody. You don't want to cook with a label like that. That's definitely a no-no. There you go. You know, I give my... Uh, I don't. I don't buy organic in this area. The only place that has it is Safeway, and I mean, it's just such a hassle. So I get these red whenever I get them on sale for eighty cents a piece. That's an amazing deal. I remember I can get three of these things for a dollar not too long ago. Boy, this times have changed, huh? Okay, with this uh, red pepper, you want to cut it, cut it up right away and throw it right in there, and you can. You can do a slices if you want. They'll cook down, but I kind of like to keep them in chunks. Let me get this on the screen here so you can see it. There you go. All right. I'm going to 
throw that right in there. And I know what you're going to say, Dave, are you going to use Italian seasoning? And yes, I am. Got my Italian seasoning right here. Fines herbs. Good to go. Boy, this bottle's getting a lot of play, isn't it? All right, we're good. Ladies and gentlemen, dinner is served. All right. Hey, Snackmaster was a failure. I'm retiring it, putting it to pasture. I might sell it on eBay as a collector's item, but I'm not sure. Will I ever use it again? Probably not. Will I take it to the thrift store? Maybe. It's a slider, man. It's a pork. Belly slider. What the hell, dude? I explained that to you. We now return to our regular broadcasting hours. I'll be getting in the show in about two minutes. You guys come back anytime. I'm glad you enjoyed the show. It is an unusual experience when I have to cope with difficulty, but hey, this is what cooking is all about. Bad contrast, bad lighting, an amazing show. Thank you for coming in, everyone. I'll be back in just a bit, two minutes. I'll be in the show to talk to all of you. Thank you, take care, be well, eat right. Welcome to our show. Today we're going to be making some amazing stuff. Hi, uh, beef cabbage rolls. Eight dollars for six beef cabbage rolls. Sarah's going to help. Welcome everybody. I am David Sponheim, the Ameri American original. That's right. Uh, we're up and running, yeah. And uh, we are broadcasting on three networks. Now you'll have to excuse the camera and all the brightness and all that, but it's all good. Sarah's here. Hi. I'm actually dead. I don't think you need me to more too many cooks in the kitchen. Yeah. When I, get, when I get this ready, Sarah's going to come by and prepare the, uh, she's going to steam the cabbage. I'll do the wrapping. Right now I'm steaming the cabbage, so I already got started with that. So what we have here is we've got some water and... Um, and cabbage and I actually took out the center of the cabbage because you only need because you need the big leaves to wrap it not the center of it and then I'm just putting that on to steam. Do you want to put a little bit of uh, salt in it? That's it. You, you salted it? Or? No I didn't. Okay we're gonna put a little Himalayan salt with 85 different minerals. That and, came we'll be back to wrap them. and she'll be back to wrap them. Thank you Sarah. I'm just gonna take a little pinch of this for added mineral additions. Thank you. Okay. That's on a level three burner. We're good to go. Hang on a second. Are you sure this is clean? I think the top is uh, dirty. I'm going to rinse it out. Yeah. yeah, it smelled like the, the last fish dinner I made. I didn't think we wanted a fish flavoring. We're going for beef here. Let me show you the great package of ground beef I bought today. Yeah, you'll be impressed. All right. Yeah. 
Let me get a napkin for that, cleaning it up. This will serve as my, my handy dandy wipe it napkin for the day. Yeah, an empty bike helmet. Yeah, and she's going to use those as pockets for the wrap. Now, today we have a beautiful ground beef from the Double Ranch, homegrown Northwest beef grazed 30% off. Normally $5.99, I got it for about four bucks. Then we picked up a pepper for 88 cents, but I'm going to factor in a $1 for that. So that's five bucks. Then we got brown rice we picked up for $2. These were on sale, the organic brown rice at Safeway or their affiliates. Now I'm not promoting any of these companies. I'm just telling you where you can buy these kinds of things. They're already pre-cooked. They're great for road trips if you want to make a stir fry at a motel or something with a hot plate. And I've done that because now you don't have any concierge service. I mean, when I stay at my five-star hotels, I mean, could I get concierge service? No, sir, just room service. It's all we have. So we're up to, uh, yeah, seven, uh, four, six, seven dollars. And then I added an onion and the cabbage for another dollar. Nominal amount of money for the cabbage, etc. Now, I am going to beat Joe Biden, and I'm not Joe Biden. Come on, man. Come on. If you're not black, you're not, you're not going to vote for him. I'll bet Safeway needed help getting organic stuff started. They did. I, I was the one that started the whole thing. I really had this wild epiphany the moment I walked in that office. It was electric. It was weird. It was, I, was kind of, I was kind of standing there with nine other fully suited salespeople, top end food salespeople across the country that come from, you know, on jets to fly into Safeway. And I'm sitting there at 8.30 in the morning and it was like, wow, here you are. Here I am at nine o'clock, I got, got my meeting and I went in there and I sold him on the whole idea. And he was like wide eyed. And I said, so what do you think? He said, I love it, I love it, it's incredible, I love this. I said, so what do you wanna buy? Nothing, nothing from you. <laughs> it's like, oh, okay. Well, I'm glad I excited you about organic foods. I was like, I was thrilled that I passed it on. It's like I took that beautiful football and I passed it on to the Safeway grocery stores. So I really felt in 85 that this was something I needed to do, and I'm glad I did. All right, so we're going to start up the uh, back burner here at level three. Get that started. I've got my, uh, my atomizer right here. Notice how thin that oil is? It's really thin oil. I said to Sarah, let's, let's get a bulk supply of oil and let's get safflower oil because it's the most clean. They can't raise safflower oil around pesticides. That's the nice thing about it. And they don't even label it organic. But whenever you buy safflower oil, 100% non-GMO, she got this for like 20 bucks delivered. So. It's a huge container, so it should last a long time. No, I don't see him as stealing my idea at all. I don't, you understand, I'm a, I'm a big protagonist of shared ideas and creative commons. Uh, you know, any licensing that gives the opportunity for all people to make this stuff. Um, I'm not sure when I'm gonna put the Snackmaster on eBay yet, if I am. The big problem is I was using mayonnaise last week and I didn't publish the the thing I'm putting it together a kind of a blooper tape it's, it'll include my car trip and everything else a cooking blooper tape all right so let's start that onion up you got a good steam going I think Sarah's ahead of me on this so Pull it off at the base. That base has the most amount of uh, stuff in it that makes you cry. So if you start crying, you know, it, it'll stop it from crying. If you get that base off, it should help you. Some people actually peel onions underwater. I'm serious. If you're doing a lot of onions, it's actually a good thing because it won't cause a lot of eyes. You know, you start tearing up around the onions. 
Okay, we're going to do a basic dice on the onions, so let's get a good picture of it. There we go. Okay, always keeping your fingers tucked in like that. Now let's get the camera over here more. There we go. Okay. Uh, Sarah was the one that suggested cabbage rolls today. I was not really, I, I kind of thought, felt let's get something at the store and go from there. Hang on, let's do the proverbial shake. You people really, get, you have a good time with that, don't you? I'm going to kind of like just spray it around in circles here. And this way we use less oil too. I think I'm saving on the oil budget. Normally I go for a couple tablespoons. That's less than a tablespoon. Cover it up, get the, the pan hot before you throw those onions on. All right, thank you. Yeah, you know, I, I don't really have a problem with that. No, I'm very careful, please Mr. Davidson. Everything is very careful. Whenever you're in the kitchen, always look at the knife when you're cutting. Never let that your eyes off that knife. It's the key. I've seen Bobby Flay cook. We've talked about this before. And he had cut himself at one of the Masters Championships, the ultimate championship, and he cut himself in mid-competition. I'm going, Bobby, you got to keep your eyes on the knife. Yeah. All right. So, I hope everyone's having a great day. At least we're not, you know, dead in a massive explosion in Beirut. That's kind of a nice thing. We're suffering from a terrible burn from that terrible explosion. You know, I told you, Darth, I don't know when I'm going to put the Snagmaster on eBay, if I am at all. Yeah. If I do, you'll know my eBay account, because there's only one or two Snagmasters in the world, and if I put it out there, you'll know my eBay account. I keep that private. For obvious reasons. It's okay. Okay. We're going to go ahead and throw the, uh, the onions into the pan. Like so. Grabbing all those onions if I can. There we go. And then we're going to cut up this beautiful red pepper while these things kind of simmer. You do not want to add water to this dish. That's good to know. I will put the oil on the onions and I, I think you're right. I, I agree with you. See, we're doing interactive cooking right now. Now take a little oil bottle if you're using the atomizer and then just go ahead and spray the top of those onions with a little oil. Not a great idea, thank you. All right. And now would be a good time for just throwing on down a base layer of Patty LaBelle's number three, which has a blend of turmeric and uh, all kinds of good stuff. Yeah, I love this particular seasoning. It's no salt, which helps a lot. Yeah, it's the no salt seasoning she came out with. You miss Patty is awesome. I love it. Yeah. A faulty snack master caused it, Tom. Are you sure? So give that a little sprinkle. Just to get it down and start, you know, melding the, the jute. The, wow, look at that. Yeah, that's steaming right there. I'm going to turn that flame down to low, like melt, because I don't think she'll be in time. So I drop the, the cabbage down to melt, so it's just like steaming and simmering. Once you get a boil, you're, you're good to go. Stop your boil. Otherwise, you overcook it. Okay, we, I rinsed this off. It's not organic, but it is raised in Mexico, where they have less radiation. Okay, let's cut this up. 
Hey, hey, hey. Hey, welcome to my kitchen, too. Isn't this cool? We've got all kinds of fun stuff here. We've got succulents galore. There's a beautiful succulent there. Isn't that nice? Such a pretty kitchen. I love... And I'm raising carnations. It just smells... A, it's one of my favorite flowers. My mother loved carnations. All right. I'm, she also loved roses, too. I mean, who doesn't love roses, right? So I raise uh, roses, and I raise a lot of things. I have some rare roses. Heirloom. My, uh, my deer that I have, my dear deer, my dear deer, they love my roses. They just look, they come in and eat them, and they just love them. I have a buck, you know, pretty much out there in the forest near my home. He comes out once in a while and says hello. He's got like antlers. It's amazing. Hello. So we're going to just uh, give these a little, uh, like a tight slice here. There we go. I'm not using the other knives because I, I found out that they, they don't hold a blade well enough to use. Yeah, I thought that those knives with 67... Go away. 67 layers of steel, damask steel from Syria. I thought that they would last, the blade would last longer, but they're just like any other knife. You know, you got to keep sharpening them. But I really like the, the dimes. I, don't get me wrong, guys. I know you, you put your money together to, to buy those because you're all, you're all trolls and get money from Mark and you feel terribly guilty that you attack our show every night. And you know, I can't help you with your guilt because that's going to come back to haunt you in the form of a very bad disease. I'm so sorry for you, but you chose to go with the dark side instead of the light side by doing that. When you went with evil and started your censorship of my show, you basically screwed over the most important thing going on right now. And believe me, that won't register real well with your maker. You're going to be sent down to hell to hit the frying pan. You'll be like these little red peppers when they, when they reach the frying pan. It'll be... You'll melt. I'm sorry to say, but doing that... We're going to start with the beef, and we're going to put this whole package in there. We're going to cut the top off of this, like so. Sometimes if you start at one end, now, not being nice. Yeah, these are always tough packages to open. Be very careful. There we go. Once you get a break in it, then you can open it up. Okay, so we're going to take that whole piece of beautiful ground beef. Look at that. Incredible. That is really good food. High quality. I got this for $4. Pretty good. It's not like a, a bad piece of meat. It's pretty... It's big. Okay, let's get it in the pan. It's going to go right on the onions. Get it all in there. 
That animal died for your dinner. Or my dinner to be specific. Okay, we're done there. Try not to handle anything besides the meat and then rinse your hands off. Cleaning with a handy tandy uh, paper towel. Yeah, I don't, I don't take kindly to people censoring people right now. And if you want to read about my position on censorship, go to my YouTube video that was virtually censored. And look at the description. It's the only description that has any meaning or, or worth because I don't write descriptions normally. Because I've done probably close to 5,000 shows. I am the most viewed person in the world and the most regular broadcast ever in the history of mankind. Eight hours a day, every day. We used to take Sundays off, but now we do every day. That's good, Darth. Thank you. And nobody's put more effort into a nonstop show than I have around the world. And I think it's really paying off. And I want to thank all of my worldwide viewers for watching us. Thank you. And realize that better people are coming to leadership in America. We just have to get this process rolling. It's been stymied by big time moneyed handlers, media, media moguls that are kissing up to the dark side. The side that wants to force vaccinate all the people in the world causing them to get cancer with dangerous viruses in those vaccines. And we know this because of work of Judy Mikovich and others exposing this horrible, horrible industry of the CDC. And we'll be getting to that tonight in the big show. Thank you for watching though. Uh, technology is always a huge issue. And as you know, I'm pushing for a clean green technologies that'll help save our nation a lot of money and build an economy too because I think we can produce these things. I'll be uh, getting Boy and Slap to help us make incredible devices that'll clean water from plastic waste, rivers, etc. And we'll start exporting these around the world if, they're, if they so want that. But the American people have been dominated by corrupt money mongers like Donald Trump and the Rockefeller family. And believe me, they're teaming up right now against you. And if you don't recognize the need for a third party, you don't realize how dangerous this world has become. So keep tuned to what we're doing and realize that we're trying to help not only America, but the world from being taken and swept up into this evil that wants to get rid of and depopulate 6 billion people on the planet. This is extremely important that you understand that. They aren't nice people, these people that are trafficking children. Who are The whole thing with Epstein Island is opening up a can of worms and they don't know how to shut it. And we're opening it up here on the internet while they're trying to impinge their will, putting masks on everybody. I mean, come on, give me a break. That's insane. We need to get back to normal. All right. Now with cooking at level three at this, it's not gonna get done in time. So I'm gonna take it up to level six now. But I'm gonna take and press all that meat right down into the pan. And I've got my amazing thing. But you know what I'm going to do before I do that? I'm going to throw in a good tablespoon of garlic. So, reach into this beautiful California garlic I got at, uh, at Costco for $5.99. You get all this garlic from California. Isn't that awesome? I throw it right in on the meat. Then I'm going to take Italian seasoning which you know I love, and throw that on top of the meat before I start pressing it in. Okay. Now if you have paprika, you can use paprika, but I told Sarah I'm not quite there yet. I need to go look for paprika. I forgot to check today, but I'm gonna, I, but you can use paprika on this dish. It's kind of cool. You can also use, uh, the Indian flavoring that often pe people use with turmeric in it called curry. But we're not going for a curry test taste today. We're going for a Patti LaBelle turmeric taste, which is slightly different. Okay, so kind of press it all together and mix the onions into the meat, kind of massage them in. Moving it as you go and breaking up the meat as you go with all those ingredients. All right, and then what you want to do at this point is top off this whole thing 
with your red pepper. Your bounty of red pepper here. Keeping the seeds out, preferably. So any seeds that are remaining on the board will be thrown away and discarded. So it's seed free. All right, now we're going to keep that at level six. You might want to put a little more patty to bail on there. Now, of course, you don't have to use Patty LaBelle. I'm kidding. I'm not representing her as product, but I do like her product. You can use onion powder. Uh, I'm using a thing I, I picked up called turmeric, which is really good for you. About a half a teaspoon of turmeric or curry or whatever you have. Cover it up and let it sizzle. Yeah, it's going to start steaming up through the, uh, the base of the pan. But the thing about uh, turmeric is it's uh, being studied as one of the five critical elements that lead to longevity. There's a real good reason uh, the, the Indian people and the Chinese people have used with turmeric. It's a root that seems to have medicinal qualities about it. And I'm not allowed to talk about it on YouTube. They actually said you're not allowed to provide any nutritional advice on YouTube. Now, what kind of an organization is that? When we should all be building up our immunity. I don't have, no, I'm not leaving any seeds around. Thank you, though, for the tip, Dart. Ah, oh, that's good. All right, yeah. So I tweeted to Michelle today. She's very up depressed. There's not that many cases of COVID-19 in India compared to the population, Tom. Look at the statistics. India has 1.3, excuse me, 1.5 billion people. It was 700 cases of COVID. Come on, man. Or like, shall I say like Biden said, come on, man. Come on, man. Why do I need a cognitive exam, man? I know the difference between elephants and iron lions. Come on, man. You know what I mean? Huh? Do you think it's, you think it's soft enough? I, well, it's up to you, but what I did was I just let it sit in its own heat. See how it's boiling still? Okay. I keep it on melt and it's still boiling. Now you can make this with rabbit stew. Yeah. You can make anything, any type of a meat you can do this kind of thing with. I'm avoiding pork because today the pork counter was empty. I was I was said, look at this ground beef right here. How much is it normally? Five ninety nine. Thirty percent off. I'll take it. You do have pork in the freezer, so you can do that next week. Yeah, if we want to do a pork dish, we can do that next week. We've got freezer pork. We buy pork whenever we see a good deal, but you can't wait too long if it starts to get you know too too light colored or purple. You don't want to buy pork. It should look fresh, kind of pinkish when you buy it. If you don't, you see, it has to go to the freezer if you buy past due meat. And pork is one of the most dangerous meats to buy past due. I've had a situation where I actually opened up a package that was just... Hark, my swim spa. Ah, the sound of 90 degree water flushing through with bubbles. That's so inviting. Mmm. I just imagine all this, this incredible water I have out there. We take swim spas normally during the show if I have to I will yeah I, I might take a swim spot during the show today okay. there's a good possibility so what I'm gonna do is I'm see I'm hitting it for about 10 minutes on high and then I'm gonna go in there before it gets to the point where it's burning where it's caramelizing I'm gonna break it up again and give it a big stir Right now, I'm trying to get the, the steam to set in on those uh, red, the red peppers. Otherwise, you break the steam and the red peppers won't get cooked enough. Now, I normally would dice the, the red peppers a little tighter, but I want to have some texture in the, the, the cabbage roll, so it'll have more texture that way. I should. I should get, get down on my skivvies and go jump in right now. Yeah, I heard she's depressed. Yeah. You read that? Yeah. Darth, I, I, that's what I wrote, Michelle. I said, Michelle, I think it would be really great if you did deal with your transgenderism. I'm willing to accept her as a transgender, honestly. 
I don't have any anger at Michelle for committing fraud for eight years with her husband as he hijacked our economy. I just feel like it's it, if she w didn't come out of the closet, she's not going to be who she is, you know? And maybe she wants to dress as Michael again. Who knows? She might go back to looking like Michael again. I don't have a problem with that. But if, for her to be in the closet like this is just wrong. I'm openly a heterosexual, as you know. I tell people I'm a heterosexual because some people think I'm not because, I don't know, they're very attracted to me and think that, you know, I'm some sort of a person they want to do or something. But you have to understand, you know who you are and you have to live that life wholly. And I, I, really, I really think that gay people and transgender people should live their life out of the closet. I really do. Yeah, Rock Hudson hit on me. Oh yeah, six weeks before he died, he was like standing right next to me going, whatever they do, you know, these gay guys. All right, so here we go. We're gonna do the big turn. Everything comes up from the bottom and goes around in a circle. And then you crush it. Okay, we're getting, everything has to be kind of turned to make this thing work. Great. Okay. The beef is almost done, so what we're going to do is we're going to open up the brown rice. This is organic from, uh, like I said, Safeway. And all you have to do is cover the, un uncover it like this. And you can resource these uh, these bowls. These things are great for road trips. I'm serious. They're great for a cereal on a road trip. I would keep them. Yeah. I'm thinking we should save these bowls for road trips, Sarah. You know? Because we always need bowls whenever we're... Well, I kind of like the idea of resourcing plastic. I'm just giving people ideas. Yeah. Okay, here we go. I'm going to plop it right on top of the pan. Boom. See how simple that was? See what a nice bowl that is. Is it number one or number two? I think it's number five. They won't take number five. Yeah, see. My recycler won't take this plastic, so I'm going to resource it. Yeah. Carry three of them or, you know, a couple of them, whatever. <sighs> yeah, they're only taking number one or number two now. It's kind of like the bathroom, you know. Well, Joe Biden won't tell you this, but our entire recycling system is shut down because of Donald Trump. And Joe Biden won't tell you that because he's part of the New World Order. They don't want to talk about plastic waste right now. They're too busy keeping us in, in ridiculous plastic and paper. Did you see that face mask that was in the... Uh, it, it was in the... You, you saw the face mask in the chicken tender... No, I heard about it. Yeah. It was terrible. Somebody was working in the chicken nugget plant. It's one of those chicken nugget plants and they dropped their face masks into the grinder with the chicken. Isn't that terrible? And this is the tea show, yes, hi. We've got an amazing collection of beef cabbage and rolls uh, cooking in the back. Sarah's steaming the cabbage on the stove, Chef Ramsey. And by the way, we had, uh, yeah, I hate to name drop, but we had, well, maybe I do like to name drop to be, yeah, we, we had Nicholas Cage in yesterday. You have you met Nicholas, haven't you, Chef, Chef Gordon? Yeah, he was cool. He actually talked about how they drink blood in Hollywood, like how he's been to these places, but he's never done it. Yeah, he's been to parties where they were doing drinking of blood. Oh, I'm serious, human blood, right? And he's, he, yeah, I'm really glad he told me that because I never would have known. Actually, we knew we knew about these evil things from other sources, actually. But yeah, and he said that really famous people wear... Yeah, he was here in our show, Darth. He said that really famous people wear little vials of blood, and that there's a number on it. And the number represents how, how old the child was of the blood that's donated. I mean, I'm talking evil stuff. And thank goodness Nicolas Cage, who I know is a good guy, is telling us this in the chat room, if you can believe it. Now, there's a possibility it wasn't Nicolas Cage after all, and nor is Anderson Cooper, who he said comes in here all the time 
that might be a troll too. So put in mind the fact that none of this can be verified. Yeah, he's the, the niece, he's the nephew of Francis Ford Coppola. That's right. The famous director who has a winery. I'm not sure if he lost any acreage in the recent fire. I don't know if they spared his... When the directed energy weapon hit California, I think they spared his winery. Okay. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and move everything around really aggressively. Take a look at the plate. That rice has to be moved into everything. Now that it's steaming. Beautiful. And I think we're good for one more hit of Patty LaBelle or anything else like onion powder or garlic powder. Now, if you're cooking with garlic salt or onion salt, bear in mind that product has got a lot of salt in it. But you know what I don't have in this dish is a lot of salt. So I'm going to add some Morton's uh, potassium mix. It's a half salt mix. I'm going to put a little on there. There we go. I'm going to mix that in with a little Patty LaBelle on top of that. Put a little bit more Italian seasoning on that too. Get it set up. Patty LaBelle. And I almost used all my Patty LaBelle. That's awesome. Okay, now is the time for you to shut that, that temperature down to simmer. Let all these, these wonderful things gel together. And just let it set right there. Okay, now my turn to come in. Now Sarah's coming in with her uh, her larger Corel ware, which will show her a platter. Oh, she's going to go for the big platter. That's nice. That's nice. Very nice. Okay, and I'm going to kind of do the composting while she talks to you. And remember, the mic is pretty... Uh, it's pretty... way over there. You want me to bring it closer? Let me bring it closer. No, I don't care. Because I can clip it maybe on that thing right there. It's all good. All right. It's all good, David. Thank you. All right, so maybe I should turn on the light, though. Sure. There we go. All right, so um, yes. we have in here, we've got the cabbage. I'll turn it off the belt. It looks pretty good. Perfect. You want some togs for that? Uh, sure. Pretty great. Let me clean them off. Okay. We've got our beef, of course, right? If that's setting right now, I'll get you a spoon for that. Hello, everybody. Welcome. Hey. Okay, so we're back at it. Sarah's going to be assembling the cabbage rolls, and so we're going to get got, started. I've got a cabbage that has been steamed, and then I pulled it apart, pulled them apart so that you have individual leaves here. If you did like a whole cabbage, you could do that. But um, All right, so then I'm just going to stuff them. So you just take a little bit. Like that. And then you're going to roll it in. Nice. I, could, I might be doing this wrong, but this is what I remember. Well, this is doable. At least we can have something casual to, to look at and we can serve later. It'll be good. And there's your, basically your cabbage roll. There's a cabbage roll. There you go. So you basically roll the rice and meat and vegetable mix into the cabbage. And it has great onions and garlic and organic brown rice and meat, beef. Yeah, and it's lean beef, so you didn't. I didn't have to drain the fat out. So very some easy to put, eat. Like some um, tomato sauce on it. Oh yeah. I don't think it's necessary. as a garnish, a little tomato sauce. Yeah. I put some hot sauce in there, but that Patty Labelle has a little kick to it. So she has a little cayenne in there, which I like. A little bit of cayenne is good, but not a lot. Great. Well, this is awesome. You know, last week and the week before we were so traumatic with. Uh, we had the, the shutdown of our internet two weeks ago, and then last week I had the, the Snackmaster fail me. And it, it's going to be compiled with this video, and you're probably watching it now. But it's one of those things that 
you never know with cooking. You try to kind of power your way through it. And we actually ate meals yesterday, last week. It was pretty good. Adaptation. Cooking is adaptation. Now, you can have bigger cabbage rolls. Some of them are really, really big. And if you take the outer leaves, you have a bigger spin. But this is, Sarah's giving you a very good demonstration of how this works. That's a nice one. That's my Ooh, that's a good one, yeah. Cabbage roll. That's a nice one, yeah. That's what a cabbage roll looks like. There you cabbage roll perfection. All right, we're going to leave uh, Sarah in the in the midst of cooking, and then we can have any extra that we want to cook together. I can make another meal out of that. Yeah. We're going to go ahead and sign off. Thank you very much for coming into the David's Kitchen Hour. I appreciate it. I'm going to go start the regular show in the other room, so in about two minutes, you should be rebooting. Thanks, everybody, for coming in. Take care. Yeah, definitely.